Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I just wanted to show you a coil pack um, brand or company that I use quite often. Um, I've seen people post online, hey, what do you guys think of this coil pack brand, this specific one I'm gonna show you today, that a lot of people automatically flock to, that it's a China part, you know, the build quality is low, it's gonna fail in the next, you know, 500,000 kilometers. And that certainly isn't the case, um, especially for my, from my experiences. Um, and as you guys know, I, uh, I, I get a lot of cars and um, drive them, enjoy them, sell them, trade them, um, keep them, <laughs> the Supra. And throughout all those cars, a lot of the times the coil packs need to be replaced. So this is a factory 2J coil pack and you can see there's a crack there. I literally have a pile of uh, 12 right there that are just like this. Um, I've had many 2J engines and this, this is common. So what's the brand I'm talking about? Well, NP Boosted. Um, formerly um, branded Napal Performance. And I think the owner just wanted to shorten the name and make it more um, car friendly branded, if you will. Um, so I'm pretty sure that they revamped the name to NP Boosted to be, like I said, more car friendly. Um, I have never had a problem with these coil packs. I run them in the Subarus I've owned. Not this, not this, yeah, I do have a set here that I'm gonna bolt in when I do the valve covers, but I've had them in all my Subarus, I've had them in all my Supras. Um, a lot of my friends with high horsepower Supras, Ali, who's tuning my car, bought a set and was making 800 horsepower reliably on these guys. So I can't really do a a review, so to speak, because to do the review, you have to have it on the car, drive the car, and you guys have to be there basically every minute that I'm driving the car, right? With that being said, the car, the, the set that is in the Super now have developed similar cracks as the OEM coil packs. So I reached out to NP Boosted and I told them and sent them couple pictures and they ended up sending me a brand new set um, so customer service in my opinion is through the roof with these guys and before the problem with the Supra of them cracking right here the exact same spot as the OEM ones it seems like that's where the heat collects um, and affects the most is the mounting holes um, yeah I sent them pictures, told them what was going on, and they sent me a brand new set. So, I'm not sure what kind of review this is, just because like, I'm not physically, you know, like when people do a phone review, you know, you can see it. But I can tell you from my experience and my friends' experience that I've all shown them, you know, how they're performing and all of my Supras, all of my Subarus, all of my cars, Every time I get a car in from Japan and the coil packs are questionable, I buy a set of these and they're perfectly fine. So um, I've, I've seen a lot of people post on the Napal or the NP boosted coils. Um, and a lot of people just automatically, oh, they're China, they're junk. Um, that is certainly has not been the case for me. They have been great coil packs. Um, I have a brand new set now and I'm going to be bolting them into the car. Um, the Supra has brand new um, spark plugs. So I painted a, the coil brackets because I had a, a brand new set downstairs, or sorry, not a brand new set, a corroded set that I made brand new again and painted them to match my valve cover. It's the exact same paint. So those will be going on the Supra today, right now. Um, for every coil pack, I do recommend 
be very, very careful taking these out. I recommend, um, in my case, I used my drill after I stripped one out and um, it worked flawless. So be very careful because for the 2J1s, the screws strip out real easy. So be careful. Um, I don't know where to buy these ones. I imagine you can get them at a hardware store or whatever, but you'd have to cut them to length. So as always, be careful taking your coil pack out because the screws or bolts that hold them to the bracket, you do not want to damage and then have your car down for another X amount of days, right? So that's just my, my friendly um, user review, I guess, on Napal's coil pack. I will, uh, I'll include a link to the website um, in this video and I'll show you guys, um, you know, or you can see all the products that they have. They pretty much have it for all JDM, so it makes it really easy to go in there and select the JDM car you have, and they have a coil pack for it. Um, I've even told them to make coil packs for certain cars, and they end up doing it because, you know, it's a, it's a viable business because coil packs are A, expensive, B, hard to find, and C, well, I guess just a pain in the, in the rear to source, especially for the Beams MR2 I had and the, um, I can't remember which other car, my Gloria maybe, but I ended up getting them. So there it is. I'll include the, the link in the video and um, think about them for a, a coil pack um, for your next car. All right. Peace guys.